according to a 2009 report of the World Health Organization. Waterborne diseases are the deadliest killers known to man. It is not the water per se that causes harm. It is the various contaminants and microorganisms that thrive in the water. Water contamination is a major problem in central Iba Housing Estate, an area where septic tanks and wells share boundary. This, according to residents, has been a detriment to elderly living. Central Iba Housing Estate, Sierra, is located in Iba Local Council Development Area in Ojo, Lagos State. The way we came to this resident, we realized that this estate, the land, this land was reclaimed land. And because it's reclaimed land, our soccer system cannot last. And, we, we, and there's no water. People just dug hole. Even though they did the, the borehole, we find that the soccer was still percolating into it. And we, so we were having, in the early time, we were having a lot of people going to the hospital for malaria and typhoid, a large number. So at that time, we formed the city and said, what can we do to reduce if we cannot stop? They will say, okay, the best is to let's provide water that will be pure, that will be uh, drinkable, that will be cheap for able to buy, so that it to reduce the incidence of typhoid among our children and adults within the entire community. In most cases, the water the vendors bring, I personally experienced it. The water sometimes you will buy it, it will be smelling, it will have color. It is unhygienic for somebody to even use in other domestic cause, talk less of drinking. In order to safeguard lives of its members from waterborne diseases, leaders of Sierra embarked on the water care project to provide pure, portable and cheap water for the well-being of community members. The majority of boreholes we have are well. They are being built besides the soccer waste. And that's why we conceived this uh, idea of a, a very clean, pure drinking water. And uh, that's why we put us together. And with the assistance of our, a member among us, we said we should go out and embark on that uh, project. Our intention is to replicate in most of the zones so that our people will not be drinking this borehole thing, they call it borehole, they call it a well water. If you don't have a good health, you will not be able to, you will not be useless to yourself. Health itself is wealth. So we supervise them to make sure they do it, they clean, either the main cellar or that, that their shop is always clean. Not only that, we make sure every environmental, for last Saturday of the year, we go around from zone to zone. In this essay, we have seven zones. Mr. Josfat is the project manager who sees to the maintenance of the water care center. This he does without remuneration but a selfless activity to his community. He tells us more about the project. Water care center can be considered as an innovation in providing safe drinking water to people. It is a micro unit drinking water outfit where people can dispense drinking water in their food grade uh, containers at a highly affordable cost. For instance, 50 liters, we sell it at an average of 100 naira. 25 liters, we sell it at an average of 50 naira. But that is not the motive anyway. We are doing that so that we can generate funds and replicate these projects in other zones in the estate because the estate is large. And for us to do that, we need some little fund because the money we are collecting does not really justify the cost we are expending in this because it is something members contributed. Even the such water causes a menace to the environment. If you see this gutter today, 90% of the sewage problem we have on this drainage is as a result of pure water being littered here and there. So we are trying to do something that can help the environment. After the enlightenment, I drank the water to ascertain its purity and of course it is safe for drinking. The cost of the water care center is about 1 million naira 
but one wonders how such a community raised such funds for the project. It has been very tough because all members, we, have, we need to contribute, apart from our technical, technical partner, who is also a member of us. In fact, we are, we are grateful to him because he really assisted in terms of setting the project because something like this cannot be done without the knowledge of it. And uh, two tax amongst ourselves, that is major area where we are able to do this structure. Apart from this, other laudable projects include distribution of free exercise books to estate primary school students donated by community leaders. This is the copy of the exercise book. We, just, we went to the school, get the population of those in primary one and two of the two schools, and we printed it for them and we gave them free of charge. We tell them that we want our own contribution to the school. If you get to the school, you see them in their library and they give to the children as well. Leaders of this community made sacrifices to make life better for community members. But how successful is their mission? I've lived in this estate over 21 years now. We had other places, but it's not like this. The water still has some tests. And what they made us understand that pure water, uh, a clean water does not have tests. But this one is different. Many people have tested it, and one of the patronizers, this is the water we've been drinking for over one year. We've been drinking this water. Our health challenge has reduced. Central Iba Housing Estate CDA believes a central sewage system will bring a lasting solution to the experience of water contamination. They call on corporate organizations and the governments to come to their aid. Likewise, help expand water care projects and other prospective projects. The solution is for us to have a centralized sewage system. That is the best solution. If you have that, at least all this uh, soccer will Will, be, uh, will cease to exist and they will be able to pipe everything to a centralized one so that the environment will be very clean. We want to put up a center in our community land. We want to put out our community all properly. The one that we have now is not proper, we just is makeshift. We solicit assistance from corporate organizations around us because CDA law provides that any organization can be approached within your jurisdiction for assistance. So we, we still implore them when we approach them to please assist us and assist the community generally. They however appreciate efforts of Governor Akimumi Ambodi in Lagos State. To them, the self-help project is a step to support his laudable efforts. They urged him to mandate local government chairman to emulate his ways. I want to once again thank our governor, His Excellency. Uh, Mr. Akin Abode for all his efforts. He is a grassroots man and then he keeps on encouraging communities, CDAs, CDC, to come up with grand designs of projects that will uplift the community. We want to say we are grateful to him, but uh, like Olivatist, we still want more assistance from government. And apart from that,